Hi, I'm Paul Ingram with SaveYourself.ca. That's .ca for Canada. I'm a science journalist in Vancouver. I specialize in writing about aches, pains, and injuries. This video is one in a series about runner's knee myths and treatment mistakes. IT band myth number five is that the IT band is inflamed. Everyone assumes that IT band syndrome is like a tendonitis, which is reasonable because the IT band is like a tendon. It's got some interesting anatomical differences from tendons, but close enough. It's like a giant tendon, runs down the entire length of the thigh, rubs on the side of the knee when you run or use it too much, gets inflamed, tendonitis, right? Except it's not actually the IT band that gets irritated and the irritation is not actually inflammation. I'm an avid runner myself, but for me, it's all about the sprinting, not the distance. I play a fast moving frisbee sport called ultimate. Got my frisbee right here. This is not me. I am not that tall or that talented, but gives you an idea of the kind of running intensity involved. Playing ultimate and hiking, I got and recovered from a horrible case of IT band syndrome about 10 years ago. In that time, a lot of new research evidence has come out. In fact, virtually everything that we need to know to debunk myth number five has been discovered in the last decade or so. The hardest part of this to wrap your head around is the idea that it's not really inflammation that's going on. It is a painful process. It's what I call tissue rot or degeneration, but there's no immune system cells present, which are always present in inflammation. When you're inflamed, you should have immune system cells around as well as some other microscopic signs. And those are simply missing from tendonitis and IT band syndrome. When tissue is overused, it breaks down. The cells inside that make the tissue around them that are constantly generating and regenerating it, they can't keep up with the load, and so the tissue starts to fall apart around them. They just can't keep up. Kind of like Lucy trying to keep up with chocolates at the chocolate factory. The next problem with myth number five is that it's not the IT band that's actually irritated, which is based on the assumption of friction, that the IT band is rubbing back and forth across that bump on the side of the knee. That's the lateral epicondyle. Anatomical research since 2006 has shown pretty clearly that the IT band can't do that because it's anchored to the femur really strongly, particularly right above the knee, but actually running up the length of the femur. So it can't move back and forth, and IT band syndrome can't be a friction syndrome. So that's the first clue that it's not the IT band that's the problem. The second clue is even better and comes to us from surgical experiments. So what is getting irritated? Some experimental surgeries in Europe and the US have shown that you can treat IT band syndrome quite well uh, by removing tissue from underneath the IT band specifically a bursa or a bursa-like structure that's part of the envelope of tissue around the knee. This is really different than the traditional procedure, which is still the dominant one and widely practiced where you just take a little snip out of the side of the IT band and that loosens it right over the side of the knee, which is kind of like treating a rock in your shoe by loosening the shoelaces. It doesn't get rid of the problem, but it does relieve the pressure. But these experimental surgeries showed that you can get good results without touching the IT band and without loosening it. So uh, if you can do that, then probably the IT band itself isn't actually the problem. If we put all of this together, we know that IT bands don't get inflamed because it's not the IT band. We know that from two different clues. First, that the IT band is actually anatomically fixed to the side of the knee. It can't rub back and forth and get irritated that way. And we know that surgeons have treated the condition by removing tissue from underneath the IT band and leaving the IT band itself alone. Uh, we also know that overuse injuries are unpleasant and painful, but that they aren't particularly inflamed. They're irritated and degenerating, tissue rot. That has some pretty significant treatment implications, and all of this is really different from the conventional view of what IT band syndrome is. This has been just one of several alarmingly common myths about IT band syndrome. Search YouTube for the other myths in this series, or you can learn pretty much everything there is to know about IT band syndrome on saveyourself.ca slash ITBS. This is Paul Ingram. 
Good luck with your knees.